What's up guys, Mr. Slin here with another video about Team Fortress 2. Today I'm hopping into a casual server and playing Soldier, and I'm going to walk you through what I think about when I'm playing Soldier. So I'm running the original, the gunboats, and the escape plan. Pretty standard competitive loadout. And this video is geared towards intermediate players, so I'm going to assume that you already know how to rocket jump. And if you don't know how to rocket jump, definitely that's one of the things you're going to want to learn immediately. Uh, before you really get started playing soldier. Uh, knowing how to rocket jump is super key and the gunboats are great for giving me that mobility so I can rocket jump at people and jump around the map without having to worry about my health. And you're not really sacrificing that much without having the, uh, the shotgun or the, the banners. So I'm actually just gonna sit up here on the high ground. Uh, as a soldier, you do not want to be on low ground shooting up at people. That is not the ideal scenario. So I'm definitely going to be maintaining the high ground here and spamming some rockets around. Uh, fairly unpopulated server. I mean, I just hopped into this, so not going to be a ton of people in the server right now. And I'm actually getting a little bit more aggressive than I would normally be. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of like, it, I'm not in a vulnerable position. I'm holding a doorway. A doorway is like one of the best places for soldiers to hold because soldiers are really good at controlling uh, small choke points. I see a pyro kind of pushing me. I need to get out of that situation, so I'm going to stand up here and then shoot down at them. And that's a really hard position for pyros to defend against, so that works out really well. And I pick off a spy as well with my crit rocket. Ends up working out well for me. I see a pyro by himself. Easy frag. And I'm generally just kind of playing this kind of roaming soldier style where I'm jumping around, trying to maintain high ground, and picking off the easy kills here. People who are separated, people who are not with their teammates. I didn't really want to drop down, but it kind of just happened. There's a sniper there. I'm going to jump out of the way and grab more ammo over here. So you'll notice that I, didn't, I don't really commit my body to a lot of scenarios. I talked about how I dropped down by accident right there. I kind of like to stay in places where it's like pretty safe. Uh, I'm not playing too risky. Uh, just going for some easy frags of people who are overextended. One of the things you'll notice in casual servers is that people don't really have a lot of medics with them, so they don't have a lot of buffs. So you can usually kill most targets in two to three rockets, which is perfect because when I'm using gunboats, I use one of my rockets to rocket jump at somebody. So I'm going to need to hit those other two rockets to secure the kill. A lot of times, I'll be maintaining high ground and I'll soften them up with one or two rockets. See how I don't commit to this demo, man? I'm just like softening him up with rockets. And then if I notice he's getting low and he's not returning shots at me, I will be able to close in for the kill. But if he is hitting shots on me, then I will kind of like just stay back. Just spam the rockets, stay back, play safe. And the reason I'm focusing so much on staying alive is because uh, it's kind of like this mentality that I have where I need to think that I'm the best player in the server. Even if I'm not, I need to think that I'm the best player in the server. And as the best player in the server, I want to make sure that I'm, you know, securing those frags for my team. If I'm dying and I'm the best player in the server, then I'm really feeding. So I really don't want to be doing that. If I was the worst player in the server, it's okay to trade one for one. Uh, because you're getting value by trading up against a player who's better than you. But if I make an assumption that I'm the best player in the server, then it's worth it for me to stay alive. Kind of, he already used his charge, so I knew he was kind of harmless. Oh, we're on an 11 kill streak here. Just cruise in, grabbing this health. This map is really suitable. This this particular second point is really suitable for uh, soldiers. It's got a lot of height differentials, a lot of wide open spaces for me to rocket jump through. Soldiers typically don't do that well in wide open spaces. Ooh, he got me. Um, so soldiers typically don't do that well in wide open spaces. They typically lose to snipers, scouts. Um, but if you're standing in the right spots on high ground, it can be just fine. So kind of unfortunate where I got up against that pyro in close quarters and he hit his shots where he was air blasting me. So I lost that one or traded one for one. It's, it's okay. That happens sometimes. This guy is a bot or something. I don't know. He's just standing there eating rockets. I'll take it. Easy kill on the scout. And this medic is just by himself. Like, I don't know what he's going to do. Kind of missing my shots though. But secure the frag. I don't have anything loaded against this pyro, so I'm kind of backing off. I'm gonna jump over his head and grab this health pack. Even though he's even though he's air blasting, I got a health advantage over him. I had 103. 
He's still pretty hurt. Got him here. And even though the cart's kind of pushed up all the way over there, I'm going to still stand very far forward because... See, it's going to make it very difficult for the scout to, like, push up when I'm holding this high ground here. So I'm kind of creating space on the cart. I don't really care if the cart moves backwards or not. I just want to create space. If that guy knows what he's doing. He'll be able to air blast that. I'm kind of camping his health pack, but it's not here quite yet. It's a little bit risky. I really want it, though. I really, really want it. I need that health to fight. Anytime I'm nearing that 100 health kind of threshold, I need to play safe so I don't get shot. Oh, I'm very dead. Oh, that's not, that's the same guy who got me last time, too. So I got to be careful. I was kind of disrespecting that pyro and just kind of pushing him. Uh, if, if there's a pyro who's actually respectable, who can actually air blast you, then you're going to want to play a little bit safer and weaken him first before you close in on the kill. I just thought I could get him. Give that guy a little bit more respect next time. I'm going to jump up here, grab some health. They've already captured the third point, so I need to just turn it up here for my team. We're already securing some frags. So I, I kind of want to push, but I'm wasting all my rockets against that pyro, and I can't really fight the scout with no rockets loaded. I already weakened the scout a little bit, hit him again, but cannot close the kill. I don't have enough rockets loaded again. There's a spy. If I can suss him out. No, not quite. I'm gonna chill here on the high ground. Just chill back. I don't have my teammates with me yet, and they've got numbers all up towards the cart. So I'm just gonna wait back for my teammates to spawn and think about camping this health pack. Got that scout. Nice. That's a spy for sure. I just can't deal with him right now. Oh god, I just need to reload. That is the same power from before, so I can just jump away from him and avoid him. Uh, a little bit risky for me to commit here. I actually need to jump deeper and get a health pack. I'm not going to make it. He got me. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty risky for me. I jumped away from that pyro because I was trying to avoid him, but then I just overcommitted myself onto the cart. We're still 20 kills, 3 deaths, 5 assists, so still a good game for us, but not quite good enough of a game to secure this round. It appears they're still pushing forward. I don't want to be in this position on low ground, shooting upwards. It's just not a winning formula. So I really want to be on top of this shack instead, where I can get easy shots downward on these soldiers who are not looking. This is a much better position to be in than shooting from low ground. See how he's shooting from low ground? There's just no way he's going to hit that shot against a player who kind of knows what he's doing. Oh, he got the health pack. All right, so since I'm at below 100 health, I need to chill back. And I'm going to shoot rockets, not very quickly, but enough so that I can keep reloading and have four. The health packs respawn on a 10 second timer, and that's pretty universal. So you can just kind of count down from 10 to grab the next pack. And again, once again, I'm on the high ground, shooting down to them. This is not really the best spot for me, though. I'm standing next to all my teammates where I'm likely to get splashed on. And I need to get out. So I just jump out of there. Again, I don't want to really commit my body to a situation where I don't think I'm going to win. And it was a 2v1. I know that demo man's going to want to go for a health package, no matter of which one. Oh, he surprised me. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. This guy's okay? What are you looking at? <laughs> oh, every time I die, they're pushing forward. There's got to be something we can do about this. On this last point, we're on high ground, so I can spam down at the cart. As long as my teammates are not eating those rockets. I see there's a pyro in that tunnel, and I should be able to splash rockets off the wall, but he gets out. Maintaining this high ground is super critical for me. But they're running so many pyros that it's just kind of getting annoying. There's a sniper, I'm pretty sure. I think I saw a dot. Look through the window. I don't see him. I do want to go for a flankeroni here. He's thinking the same thing. I'm going to bury myself deeper. There's a health pack inside of here I can just go for. And I'm just going to bury myself behind them so I can distract. And if I get one kill there, which I did, then it's totally worth it. So from here, I can just, like, watch their spawn, grab health packs behind them so they can't use them. Attack their low health teammates and then kind of just jump away and be annoying. He might go for this health pack here. That's kind of what I'm relying on. Oh, he's going for me! Oh! <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> 
There was only two options there. He was either going to go for the health pack or he was going to go for me. And I should have realized that when he's not going for the health pack, he's going for me. <laughs> All right. Trying to catch up to this high ground here. And this is the spy, right? Yep. Got him. No one's really going for that cart. They need to win the high ground in order to win the cart, usually. Because we have a sentry gun here, plus like three teammates watching that cart. So unless they push up into this high ground through these tunnels, they're not going to be able to get that cart all the way through the finish line. Again, I'm going to bury myself because they have pyros, so they can't really deal with me at range. So because because they, don't, they cannot deal with me at range, I can just spam back here and just spam them, and they can't really do anything. They can send soldiers after me, but... Uh, I should be able to win the fight against the soldier. He's so hurt. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that pyro switched the soldier, so that's one less pyro I have to deal with. So I can just stand, stand here and spam their spawn, and they can't really do anything to touch me. That soldier does have a medic with him, though, so he has a buff. He has a health advantage over me. He should be able to push me. So I can just pick off their medic like this if they're not paying attention. And if that soldier chooses to challenge me, I can just keep jumping away because I have gunboats. So he's wasting a lot of time on me. Their medic can't really push up. They have to play defensively. This is exactly where I want to be as a gunboat soldier. Uh, I'm a little bit hurt, but I'm okay. I was thinking about how I was going to exit that fight, and I didn't really plan that out very well. Grab this other health back over here. Make sure I have full health all the time. That's a spy. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah, we're crushing it right now. Only 45 seconds left on the clock. Should be able to defend this pretty easily. Crit rocket hit. Yes. 100% skill. Kind of pushing off. Even though that's a small step right there, I still have height advantage, which is crucial when fighting another soldier. Jump over here. Kind of spam rockets. Play it safe. Stall. If they're shooting rockets back at me, or if they're shooting at my teammates, then they're wasting time that they could be using to get up to the cart. Kind of just camping that health pack. Ooh, I hit that meaty one on that demo man. He should die. I really need health and ammo, so I'm going to jump into the corner. And hope that no one pushes me. Got it. Now they're all out blitzing for the cart, so I can just shoot them from the back. And if they shoot at me, they're not, sh they're not on the cart, which is great. And that's how you win. Nice. All right, good stuff. So I hope the video was helpful. Hope you enjoyed that kind of commentary. If you want to see more of that in the future, definitely like the video. A uh, couple tips to wrap things up and just for the next time, if you're, you're playing soldier and you want to do something similar, uh, highly recommend you run gunboats. Uh, don't worry so much about, you know, playing with your teammates so much as you're worried about like staying alive, playing in safe places where you can always jump away to safety, grabbing health packs and um, just being an all around nuisance and picking off weak players from behind. Uh, so I hope that's helpful for you, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.